hello it's random terry welcome back to my channel it's been a while before i have or since i have um put a put a video posted a video i'm sorry it's been a while so i'm tongue-tied um and so it's been a little trying to get out to a dollar tree because i usually do the dollar tree hauls so i jumped on the bandwagon and of course you know what it is it's like a huge, as somebody else put their package, a potato um, from Temu, Timu, whatever. Um, and I thought I'd give it a try because let me tell you, the prices are pretty awesome. And I got one package from them, the first one, just some little items because I wanted to see. And they were good for the amount of money I spent. So we're going to bust into this and show you what I got. And hopefully I have my computer screen pulled up and hopefully I can tell you what I got or tell me how much they were. Oh my lamp, I don't even know where the um, opening is on this. I need to just cut right into it because I don't want to cut something inside of it. Because I've seen some other people post and how these are packaged. <laughs> it's like jammed. Pretty tough packaging too. Make sure there's nothing under there. Ah, okay. And I am opening this up right in front of you. I have not opened this before. I did not look at anything, so we'll all see it for the first time. Let's cut down the side. Okay. And I am going to. Where do I start? Okay. I'm going to start with something that I actually have already. It is, let me see what they call it. What they tell you on there, what it's called. Oh my, a lot of stuff. Uh, pet hair remover for dog cat hair. Good for lint. Um, and I have one of these. <laughs> And it worked really good. And I just wanted to have another one to kind of keep in another room. So it'd be easy to remove it. And I don't know if you've had one of these before. Oh, okay. But this was only $1.29. The first one I bought, I think I paid close to 13 bucks for it. Through Amazon. And this one was just $1.29. And it looks, by gosh, pretty close to the same. That is what it is. I don't know if that's... um. Kind of showing you those little things and you just smooth it over i do this on my sofa because i have a dog that loves to shed he can't hold on to his fur i try to teach him to but he just can't get his little pores to hold on to those fur balls whatever um so this comes up really nice and then i go along with my um my vacuum cleaner and i just kind of scoop up the little balls that i create with this and this is going to come in very handy and I'm glad it was only $1.29. Pet hair remover. Okay. I'm trying to get something else here that's not. Oh my goodness. Okay, go right on the top. This is a tote bag, which was, what do they call it? I know it's called large capacity simple stripe canvas shoulder bag five dollars and 39 cents and this is going to be a gift it's going to be filled with stuff and i thought the green would be kind of pretty for on the line of um st patrick's day the green and there it is There's a smell to it, but it's not a bad smell. Kind of a clean, new smell. Hmm. So it is lined. Ooh -hoo. It's lined. And it does have a little zipper pocket in there. And that's a pretty decent size. That should work out nice. I know some of these are come, they noted to be like the reviews and stuff say they're like smaller than they expected, but. This is pretty much what I expected. 
because I read the, um, there it is, because I read the, um, I think they had dimensions on that, so sometimes it's hard to find the description online. And we'll just put you right back over there. Okay. I don't know where I'm putting the garbage. There are all these wraps. Next one. <laughs> it caught my eye because it was a sunflower. And I thought this might come in handy. But what it is. I'll get this puppy open. Because I hate the glare of the wrapper. And I'm going to be using it. This. Oh, this is pretty nice. It's like neoprene, kind of the rubbery back, and it's got the elastics here on the back, and this thicken, <laughs> this is what it's called, thicken flower pattern car armrest mat, anti-slip, and it goes on with it. But those are the first wording to it. So this goes over your console, you know, in the middle, um, where your armrest is in the car, and um, yeah. That goes over that and it kind of pads it and keeps it clean and it's decorative and that's what I like because of the sunflowers and I currently have a sunflower seat cushions or car seat cushions and sunflower steering wheel cover so yeah I like the sunflowers so that I bought and that was again oh I didn't tell you how much it was it was three dollars and 18 cents and it's pretty thick and yeah it says it's thick it's thick um, and then, let me see, I got, oh, these little gems. Let me find them on here so I have it up. <laughs> St. Patrick Day, St. Patrick's Day Irish Gnome Dolls. There was two of them. There's, like, this one says it's four men, and one says it's four women. But I think it's, it's one supposed to be a guy, and one supposed to be a girl. That's the way they have it listed. It's weird. A little oh this is cute this isn't too badly made either I mean for a little gnome and let me get my other one out that was the female and these were two dollars and 88 cents a piece so not too bad get his little fluffy McFluffy Flufferson off of there a little piece of thread I have to cut off on his on the foot, but there they are. The female or the woman because of the braids and then the little guy. Little St. Patrick Day gnomes. <laughs> I think they're just stinking cute. Um, and they're going to go in that tote bag for the gift. Because it's going to be a probably a St. Patrick's Day, but not totally St. Patrick's Day kind of basket thing. So, and those are two eighty eight each. $2.88 each. Oh, I'll do that one later. Oh, I'll do clothes later, too. And these I ordered. They come in boxes like this. These are like little, and I can't read the side because they are. Japanese seal cans is the only thing it says in English. That I can, and made in China, it says in English. But right here. One little thing, it says Japanese seal cans. But these look cleaned, and Lord, I did not need any more containers. But these were just clean looking, and I wanted to see what their quality was. And was like, oh, these are not bad. Where do I put that? So these are like little flip up canisters. That's pretty. Not too bad. Let's see, and it's got a rubber seal. And it feels like it would be air. I don't know if it's watertight. But there's that canister. And it's cute. And it's like maybe maybe three and a half by three and a half inches. And it costs or it cost me. This one was a this one was, I don't know which one was the smaller and which one was the bigger one. I 
it's a touch screen so every time I touch it it kind of like jumps to another place but okay I'm guessing this one was $3.59 and then I have another one which is probably $4.49 so one of them is $3.59 one of them is $4.49 <clears throat> So there they are. This one looks about the same in squareness, but it's a little bit taller. And, oh. I know if you tip them over too much, they'll do. But they um, stack pretty nicely. So I got these for like seven, eight bucks for this. Eh, might be a little on the heavy side. But um, they seem pretty good. And I'm going to just put this back in its little plastic bag to keep it from getting tortured. Because I'll torture something, I'll tell you. So, there's my little containers. Kind of cute. Sure I can use them for something, and I don't know how this fits back in this box. There we go. Maybe. Okay. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box. It's just because. And I'll slip in there, too. Okay. <sighs> Sorry if I'm uh, kind of fumbling with this stuff. But I don't want to have a too big of a mess here in a minute. And then, okay, we'll just move on because there's no rhyme or reason to these. But um, I bought really cute. So cute. And they were $1.79. And I'm a sucker for a cute pair of earrings. That's them in the packaging. And I'll try to show it to you without the glary of that packaging. Fingers aren't working too well. So, here they are. And they are in the blue. Oh, it says color number one. So I think this did come in different colors, and it is, they are like little dragonflies. And these are prettier than what they looked like. Aren't they pretty? I think they are. Not too, too big. But not real, real small either, and those are really cute. I like the sun or the dragonflies on those. So those were $1.79. Not bad for some costume jewelry. On a budget. Um, shipping was free because I think it's over $10 and it's free shipping. Or it was with mine. Oh, no, it says free shipping on all orders. But I thought I heard that you have to have at least a $10 order, so it would be free shipping on $10 or more. So I'm not getting to the fabric -y stuff. Ooh. All right, when I sing our jewelry, I will continue on to jewelry here. This is a necklace. Actually, I think it's a set of three necklaces, four necklaces. I don't know how many is in it. I forgot, but it's like a multi-layer vintage heart crystal pendant multi-layer necklace. But I don't think it's all attached. But like, again, I said it's like 314 for the necklace, multiple necklaces. It's a little tangled. Oh my, yeah, okay. Well, there's the pieces to it, the pendants to it, and I think there's another one. It's got the stars on it. Um, but that's what they are, and the, the, the crystal type thing, these are pretty. Um, now I gotta get it untangled somehow to show you and it came in a plastic bag and on a card so I don't know why it got tangled but I guess it's slipped around inside the big old potato of a package when they were wrapping it and it got tangled up mangled up I'm pretty good to get these tangles out though but it does take me a little while and this one's not an easy one good gracious it is cute though we're getting there. We're getting there. <sighs> Sorry, this video is going to take forever because I'm taking forever. And they are, 
I can see here they are individual because um, there's one clasp and then there's another clasp and then I can see there another clasp. So these are individual um, chains that you could wear individually or all at once. I find that if I wear them all at once though, they kind of get, they roll up and they get tangled on their own on my neck and get my hair caught in them and I, oh, good gracious. But anyway, okay. The first one, it's the shortest one, is the, um, I'd really like to show you all this together, but that's what they are and it hangs probably just at the top of like all your sternum there breastbone, chest bone, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Should I take my time and get this all untangled for you guys? Or can you look at the picture online? Yeah, it's going to see how all that is. I'm going to have to take a while and get that all out. So I'm just going to show you that this is kind of cute. And um, for 314, you get what, four necklaces? So I'm going to lay that kind of out flat here so I don't tangle it up anymore. And I will work on that momentarily. Let's see what else is in this bag. Oh, <laughs> oh there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, oh, these are bigger than I thought they'd be. Find them on here. Boho sunflower earrings, creative fashion, vintage look, whatever. Uh, where's the opening? Oh my goodness. I'm going to cut it. Oh, it's got the little backings in there too. I don't want to lose those. So they come in plastic bags. And inside that plastic bag, I noticed the little plastic backs to the earrings in there. So I don't want to lose them, really. Actually, if I can... Yep, they're still in the bag. Okay. I'll put them on when I'm done here, if I don't lose them first. But here they are. And these are larger than I thought. And oh, I like these. They're cuter than the pictures. They're a little bigger than I thought. But... Here they are. Probably got about a two inch drop on them. And notice the pretty and the little bead up on top. These are cute. Oh, and I didn't tell you how much these were. These were $1.79 also. So this is why I jumped on the bandwagon because things are pretty decent prices. Of course, I think it does come from overseas and um what was i going to say it does take about nine days i'd have to see when i ordered this i think i ordered on the 11th today the 18th no ordered on the 10th probably about nine days so and those were dollar 79 and let me see here i gotta get moving because my battery on my laptop going low and you guys won't have a prices on these oh there's the other one. Okay. There's more jewelry type items here. What the heck is that? Oh, okay. So then I'm not going to take this one out of the package. I'm just going to show you that it is a little um, bunny pin. It's a little rhinestone rabbit. Rabbit brooch. Rhinestone crystal bunny pin brooch. $1.99. And he was just so cute. And he's about an inch. He's about an inch an inch high. So I just thought that was cute for $1.99. And then I bought something to go with the dragonfly earrings. I don't know if these will go with it very much, but I'll try to get these packages open inside a plastic bag and then inside another plastic bag with this little tiny Ziploc on it. I sure do package things. So, and so far, oh, it's not on the chain. Did it come off the chain? I don't know. But there's the chain. Oh, and there's the pendant. It is a dragonfly. And it, it is pretty too. And that's about a, 
not quite an inch. There. Oh, no. Okay. And this was $3.05. So, and it does come with the chain that it came off of. And I don't know how long the chain is. But I'll be putting that back on it. Okay. And then moving along. I think that was done with the jewelry. If I find another random piece in there, I will pull it out. But I think that's it. And this... It came in a box that was kind of crushed a little bit, but oh, something else in there. Oh yeah, LED desk lamp. And by all means, let's read the instructions. Portable lamp. And it is a little, I think it's a little piggy, I swear, or an old cat I got. And he's so cute. And I put on my Color Street nails. And I have this little one from Dollar Tree, which I like pretty much. Um, but come on. If you can get it to look like a cute little cat sitting there while you're doing it, why not? Um, and there's a button in the back. Oh, and there's light. Let there be light. And that's about like it because I will be able to see when I put my hands under there. And this is about the size that other light is. Now, that came on, and it also comes with a power cord to recharge, I believe. Let me see if there's anything written in English. When charging, yep, be sure to turn off the total power supply. I think they mean to turn off the light. I'm guessing. I don't know. So, yeah, I thought that was cute. And this bends to wherever you want to shine it. He stands up. They do show, I think, on one of the pictures in the little thing in there, that there was a phone that was standing up here that you can stand a phone up. But uh, it'll probably be leaning too far back for me. So, yeah, that's cute. And that's a totally frivolous buy for... How much was it? It was five ninety eight, and it was a bit more than a dollar twenty five at Dollar Tree. But when it's a cute little thing, just the simple little things kind of make you happy, happy, happy. Sometimes you need it in your life. Just to try to keep things organized. I'll put that there and move it on over. And then these other things are what I really kind of went to. Where are they? Actually, oh, there is the other one. Okay. They are just some little sewing scissors. I got one in rose gold, one in silver. Let me open up the rose gold one. No, oh, I thought it was open already. And I know these are zip locked, but I'm going to just cut it. Oh. And they come with like a little protective coating because ooh, that is kind of, um, but these are little stork scissors. And I just remember these because they look retro to me and um, to keep in a hand sewing box and they can just get those little tiny threads. And I thought that was pretty. And I got a silver one, too. I don't know if I might give one away or or what. So I got a silver one as well. Silver and rose gold. They're just cute. Oh, and these were probably really cheap as well. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten them. Do, 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 Oh, they were the first thing on my list. So they're all at the bottom. Oh, 209 and 249. 209 was the silver and 249 for the rose gold ones. And they're one piece, 3.74 inch embroidery scissors, stainless steel. One's rose gold, one's silvery, as it's called. So that's those. And I'll put those over here. Keep the jewelry up here so I don't like lose it. And then there's another thing I I, I must have put this on in the night or something put it on my list I kind of just wanted to see what their phone cases were like but this was so pretty and I can't show you on my phone because I'm recording on my phone at the moment but I'll see how it works later but it's uh, oh feels nice and this is called okay 
The heading is called Full Package Liquid Silicone Flower Drop Protection something. It goes on. And this is called Grass Purple. Yeah, I don't know why. But um, that's for my Samsung 22. Yep, and it's got all the right holes to it. And it feels real nice. And the only thing I might have a problem with is it being smooth on the side. The case I have now has ridges because it tends to slip in my hand, but this actually might not be too bad because of the silicone. But I just thought that was kind of pretty, just a little print, and it's it's a silicone cover. And it was $2.98. You buy this on Amazon, you think you're going to pay less than that? Doubtful. Go to the uh, cell phone store, you think you're going to pay less than that? Ah, uh, ten times that much. Of course, they probably have a brand name on them. La-dee-da, la-dee-da. Okay, got something else here, and it's called Ceramic Cup, and I think I did buy a, a mug as a gift. It seems to be packed pretty good. Yep, a ceramic coffee mug. And it was $13.98. I thought it was less than that. Seriously, I thought it was less than that. Maybe that's just the price now because sometimes they are a little bit more. But it was kind of a cute springy mug. I'm going to be gifted. So I... Oh, it's a good size, too. Oh! It's really packed in there pretty good. Pretty tight. Does not look broken. I don't hear anything rattling around. No markings on the bottom. And I thought that was cute. I don't know what kind of little animal that is, but it's just so cute. And then the little butterflies. And it is on both sides. And it's kind of, you can feel the texture on it. Really cute, just plain inside. Feels pretty weighty too, so a nice little mug. Bigger than I expected. Um, so that was $13.98. Hmm. Honestly, I thought it was less than that. Oh, well. Water under the bridge, as they say. So that... I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. Don't fall. If I tell it not to fall, it won't fall. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not going to be trying things on for you guys. But I did buy a couple things that I'll show you and open. This one, I'll well open it for a gift. And it goes along with that springy gift theme. It is, ooh, I didn't quite know what I thought that was. Maybe I won't be giving it as a gift. It's kind of like a waterproof nylon. It's an apron, but it's like outdoor flag kind of feeling. And this is printed on. I have to say, I think this was pretty cheap, though. It was $2.08. One kitchen apron, waterproof, oil-proof cooking. Yeah. But um, I thought it was cute. It has a pocket in it, and it might still go. Just a plain apron. And let me see. Lord knows if I'm going to be able to get that folded up the way I had it. The way they had it. But I can try that in a minute. Because then I did buy a couple clothing items. I'll tell you, I bought some clothing items. They're pretty decent price. I just bought like three pieces because I wanted to see how they fit me because their sizes. Um, I have to say, I'm a large girl. And I wear usually 3X or 22-24 in a top. Now their 3X, I think, is 18. So that no way it was going to fit me. So I did find a couple items that went up to 5X, which was 22. So I will see. And maybe let you know in the next video or down in the comments when I try it on. Oh, good. I got this folded in back in the bag. Woohoo. Okay. That might be good. So first thing I bought was just a plain white t-shirt. 
And they all come in these baggies. Ziploc bag. It does have a hole in there, I guess, for air release. But um, let's see. Oh, it doesn't smell bad. Five XL. Oh, that's really soft though. Oh, what is that? Is that polyester? Polyester spandex. Hmm. I was thinking of putting like something on the front of it, but they usually want, I think, polyester cotton. But I will see. I don't know if this will fit me the way I like it. I like it a little bit bigger, but it might. And if not, it can be like under a jacket or under a sweater. So just a plain white t-shirt because I wanted to see how what their size range was for me. And this was $6.74. So there's that. Oh my gosh, this really feels, feels like a legging. I mean, this I'll be able to fit in this, but I don't know if it's gonna be skin tight on me, form fitting on me or whatever. So I will be trying that on later. And that's just the bag, I'll throw that over there. And then something else which I thought would be fun to sleep in. If they fit me. I bought these in a 4XL, which is a 20, because my bottom's a little bit smaller than my top and midsection. But these were just some plus size floral print, high rise, drawstring, long pants, um, pajamas, and they are they are soft. And I will see how they fit but there they are and they were pretty such pretty these had done um, this was 1034 and I thought I was going to use them for pajama bottoms and if I don't like the way that top that white top fits me maybe it'll go on with this for my pajamas um but yeah long pants and we'll see about the length in the picture they look like they puddle on the floor of the girl these look pretty long but I thought that gray or that bluish gray and then that pink rose was really pretty and they had some other ones that had like a, a yellow band to it and it is drawstring. It is a functional drawstring. Looks like it goes all the way around and elastic. And so we will see how the size 20 fit me in that. Oh, so long. Okay. And then the last thing, I believe it's the last thing. Oh no, it's not totally. Last clothing item. Saw somebody else post and or do another haul and it was she's a big girl and um probably not as big as me but she said these fit her fairly well so that's why i thought i would give them a try they are a pair of plus size wash button up skinny jeans and they were 1640 and i got them in the 4xl <laughs> you think would be big but it's only a 20. oh they feel they're denim nice and they are just like a skinny leg jean. Paper in there. <laughs> they smell like a clean. I think I think I heard. I don't know because I didn't like company. I didn't look at their page to see. And I think everything's like um, cleaned and supposedly sterilized. That's why I think everything's in a bag before they come to you in these Ziploc baggy things that they have them in. So, so that's them and they look like they might be big on me, but you know, you know, you don't see down there where it's going to go. So, but they do have a lot of stretch. I'll do this side because my one shoulder hurts, but they have a pretty good stretch to them. Just a plain jean, maybe a little bit washed out right there kind of look does not have any of the rips in it but i did see some jeans that had the rip that i guess are the trend but not my trend not for me um and some of you might not say that i'm too old to wear that but i just don't think it would look good on me because of my age so it's not like i'm too old to wear that it's just that i don't think it would look right so Plus, I don't like my clothes to be already ripped. I like to rip them myself. Actually, I don't like to rip my clothes myself, but yeah. And so those jeans were $16.40. Hopefully, I'm telling you all the prices. And then these last things I bought were a couple of cards. 
and um, let me get them up on the screen. Okay, one's a one piece 3D pop up rose basket greeting, and that's this one. The front says, What a beautiful day! And I'm gonna put them back in these sleeves because you know they're gonna be for gifts, I don't want to get them trashed. And they came fairly decent for being in there, except this one is fine. This one you can see is a little bit ruffled up, but the, the card itself doesn't seem to be, you know, maybe bent but not folded so much. And when that gets put in there, that should be all right. When it gets put inside the envelope. You know what I meant by put it in there, right? I'm glad you do because I don't. And I'm sorry, I'm looking through my glasses, but I have bifocals and trifocals and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull. Okay, I'm not going to pull out the envelope. That way it'll help me get that thing in there easier. But it's a pretty yellow envelope. And a pretty card. It's got a little bit of gold on the front, if you can see that. And it says, what a beautiful day. And then it pops up, the flower basket. And... My computer went dead, so um, I think these were under four dollars. And for a card like that with a pop-up being under four dollars, um, it's, it's really pretty too. Look at that. I'm going to attempt to make a sunflower pop-up card with my Cricut I saw on the Cricut thing. Now, when you open this up, it's just the pink on the back. It's got the inside gingham, which is cute, and then in this side, there's usually. I've seen one before. It has a little card whew, that you would pull out and you'd write on it. And that has a little, a little rose on it too. And I thought these are pretty for Mother's Day. And that's just, that's just cute. When you get a card and you open it up and it like jumps out at you. And there's even a little gold color on the basket itself. So that's that. My what a beautiful day. And I believe both of these cards are under, I think there were three something or four something, three to four dollars. As I said, my computer went down, so I couldn't tell you how much it is on there. I have to charge it up. Should have done that before. I think my phone's probably gonna go dead too here if I don't hurry up. And I'm sorry, this is a lengthy, lengthy haul. Oh, I didn't want to take the envelope out. There we go. So this is just, there's no gold on it. It's pretty blue, prettiest blue. Hopefully that screen shows it with those daisies. I think they're daisies on it. Just a plain back. And let's see what that looks like when you pop it open. Ooh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's what it looks like straight on. And this is what it looks like on the side. Ha! Huh. Oh, if that isn't pretty. A bouquet of daisies for somebody. And that's it. There's no writing in here or on the outside. And this again has the little, and it even has a little arrow there. It says, pull it out, pull me out. So you can write on it. The back has lines. So that's where I guess you put your little note so this doesn't get all eschewed. But there is that. And I just thought that was so pretty for spring, for anything, Mother's Day, birthdays, Easter. So anytime you want to make brighten somebody's day. So I believe that's it for the haul. I believe I showed you everything. You know, I have another box here that I, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure where it came from. Mel's will open it while I'm on here. See what it is. If I like what it is, I'll show you what it is. But it's like, you know, one of those boxes when you order from Amazon and you forget you ordered. <clears throat> Watch it be some sort of personal item or something. Let me see. Yep, it is addressed to me. Oh. Yeah, and the reason, I don't know if I told you at the beginning, I haven't gotten out to Dollar Tree recently.
you know, I'm going to have to find out where I ordered this mug from. This was going to be a gift. It's going to be a bee-themed um, thing, bee and honey, and maybe honey bear kind of thing. But I bought this mug from... I don't know if it was Tim Timu. It might have been Wish. Oh, and if you're familiar with Wish, let me uh, mention something. People say that Wish takes so long to get to you. Um, I think I ordered an order from Wish about the same time I ordered the Timu. And I think that might be, or Shein, that might be where it came from, Shein. Um, but my Wish order, and you always get snagged with prices on that because the prices for each item is so high and they charge you free. They have a flat rate shipping now of two ninety nine. And it gave me, and I think over a certain amount, I think my shipping was free, if I'm not mistaken. But it doesn't matter how many things you order with that order. It's going to be a flat rate of $2.99 or so, I believe. And they gave me a time frame of when it's going to be here. And it didn't seem like two months. It was like within the month. Um, so at the month at the most, I think. Um, not even. Not even a month. So uh, they, I guess, uh, probably are maybe getting a little competitive with this Timu since this Timu is going prop, uh, popular. So I just wanted to mention that and I'll find out where this, where I ordered this from because it wasn't, I don't think it was Timu, Wish or Shein. I don't know. I don't think my Wish had this. Um, I might have been Shein. I think it was Shein. I should be getting that order pretty soon. So they sent me one item out of there. So that's it. And that's, I'm going to sign out for now. If you like my, uh, what is this called? A video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. I don't push it. This is just for fun for me. So until next time, bye. Let me see how to turn this off now. It's been a while. I forgot. <laughs> I have this little thing that has a thing that'll cut you right out. So